Right, if you're thinking of installing XBMC to a device, um, you may as well install it to your Windows uh, PC first. Uh, just to try it out, make sure you like it. So go to xbmc.org and click on the download section. And in here, you've got the option of all your different um, downloads, all the different systems you can install it to. So we're just going to click Windows. Um, if you're more an advanced user, you can try the uh, the nightly builds down here or the monthly builds, um, but they will be pretty bug ridden. Um, they are going to have bugs and there will be things that don't work. Um, they're for testing purposes only, really. So um, the majority of users are going to want to use the stable build. So that is this one here. So click on that for Windows and that will ask you where you want to save it. I've actually already saved it on my desktop, so I'm going to cancel that. Uh, and that takes about a minute to download that. It's only about 60, I think it's about 50 or 60 megabytes, something like that. Um, so let's double click on our folder, on our um, application that we downloaded and click yes. And the reason I um, I tell you, you may as well install it on your Windows PC, it doesn't come with any kind of bloatware. You can just go straight through the options like this. It's a pretty small program, doesn't use up any system resources, and it's just so easy to install. You just click next, 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 click next, and that's going to do its thing and load up. So, you know, if you are considering buying an XBMC device, um, you know, try it on your PC first and if you've got um, HDMI output or you know even VGA output you can usually um, get a lead and attach it to the back of your telly as well so if you want to watch it on telly you can and we're going to guides on how to do that um, later on but for now this is how you install so it just does its little thing goes through that like I say you can, as you can see it's so so simple it, it takes all of about two minutes to do this And there we go, it's uh, come up. So I'm just going to click on Run XBMC so you can see what it's like. Up it comes, and we're straight in. There you go, we're, we're into XBMC. Um, and you've got all your bits and bobs that you can set up. So in the next guide, I'm going to uh, just go through the basic settings.